Tracking storms for some of you right now and others will have a good chance for rain to kick off our week. Your forecast across the Caribbean and the Bahamas starts right now. This is Meteo Mundo. Hi friends, Rusty back here with you at Media Mundo on this Sunday, March the 24th. I am back in the studio, had a quick trip with my family here, wanted to jump on on Friday and give you guys an update. Want to do the same here back in our studio, which by the way, I now feel like I'm going to be hunkered down in for the next six months or so as we get closer and throughout hurricane season. But I hope you've had a good weekend. Coming up in the video, we have some nasty storms in parts of our area occurring right now on this late Sunday afternoon. Other areas will catch a good chance for showers as we kick off the week. So as we get started in this video, thank you so much for clicking that like button and I'll get you into what's happening on this Sunday across our area. We have our cold front that has been driving deep into the southeast Bahamas and the Turks and the Caicos. That's where we're seeing some storms. Other areas are starting to see some rain developing ahead of that as well. And we still have our nice easterly breeze through portions of the eastern side of the Caribbean. But we'll start with the uh, kind of prominent areas here. And that's going to be my friends in the Turks and the Caicos. You can see that these thicker clouds have produced some strong to severe storms. As a matter of fact, the Bahamas Department of Meteorology issued a severe storm warning for the Turks and the Caicos a little bit earlier this afternoon afternoon. Really nasty storms moving through places like Cockburn Town area. And again, temperatures dropping in accordance with those thicker clouds rolling in. So pretty nasty storms with some heavier rain for the far southeast Bahamas, but the Turks and the Caicos. It'll begin to wind down here as we lose the heat of the day on this Sunday. That's just one of the areas that has seen some pretty nasty weather and several inches of rain uh, has fallen in a couple of spots. And of course, temperatures there because of that rain have dipped back down into the 70s. My friends in Jamaica, you're trying to catch a couple of showers here on this Sunday. Hey, at least you've had a few afternoons where that opportunity has been there. If you've seen some of that rain, drop it in the comments section below. Now, temperatures aren't indicating there's widespread rain on this Sunday. Kingston 86, Montego Bay went up to 90 before dipping down into the upper 80s. A few extra clouds here or there could certainly spell some rain. We might get a couple of showers to develop. Maybe the Mandeville, Maypen areas, maybe just west and north of Kingston there. Ocho Rios has the opportunity. Again, I'm not expecting there to be a lot of rain on this Sunday afternoon, but the chance is actually there. But Jamaica, you're one of the areas that I think has an even better chance for showers as we kick into our Monday. And I'm gonna show you that coming up. It's the same thing for the Dominican Republic. Relatively dry today, but we're gonna catch some better chances for showers across the island tomorrow. Temperatures have been well into the 90s in many spots. My friends in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Boy, wouldn't that be something right there if Charlotte Amelie actually uh, was in around 35. Obviously a little problem with the sensor there temperature wise. Uh, we're going to catch some evening and overnight rain in portions of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands coming up. We still have our trade winds across the Leeward Islands. Temperatures there have ranged anywhere from the low 80s to some upper 80s to lower 90s. And we'll talk about how these winds will be impacting you. The ABC Islands have seen the same thing. Uh, how about Curacao hitting 90 this afternoon? It has been very hot in inland portions of Belize. It's only going to get worse. Uh, you can see temperatures through Nicaragua and Honduras, just very area dependent. Now look, Belize City has actually seen at least the opportunity for a couple of light showers today with some thicker clouds. Notice San Ignacio is up to 95. There's a huge difference right now between coastal Belize and inland Belize. And that temperature difference is only going to get worse later in the week where many areas inland like San Ignacio are going to be in the triple digits. But there has been some coastal rain for portions of Belize from Belize City and areas off towards the south. And behind the rain and the storms, the Bahamas have actually been enjoying a pretty nice day, although we could actually catch a couple of showers coming up on our Monday with kind of some leftover cirrus clouds spitting its way through. We're now looking at the winds. Now, I have not seen extremely gusty conditions as of yet, except, of course, up in Bermuda, where it seems like this time of the year, they're averaging like 35 mile an hour winds each and every afternoon. Notice the winds are up a little bit, as I mentioned, through portions of Puerto Rico and the northern side of the uh, Leeward Islands there. And again, places 
like St. Bartholomew have breezes of around 25 miles an hour. I would include St. Martin and Guilla in part of this too, Saba, St. Eustatius, even Antigua, Barbuda, fairly fresh southeast winds. At this point in time, hasn't kicked up any of the surf and sea conditions. Uh, places like Barbados, no swell issues at least at this point. All right, we're going to get into the forecast coming up, but I do want to thank our new members because we've had some subscribe here lately. So again, you want to subscribe to the channel. It's always going to be free. You want to hit that like button to help us out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can become a member and it's just 99 cents a month. You'll see that join button on the homepage of Media Mundo here at YouTube. You click that, you'll get access to some exclusive member only videos and exclusive custom badges and emojis for our live chats. Now, of course, as we get closer to hurricane season, we'll be doing more and more live videos here at Media Mundo, so stick around for that. Can't wait to show you some of that coming up as well. And thank you for our new members to support the channel. Let's take a look at the water vapor imagery here. I'm gonna switch over to the upper water vapor imagery, so it's pretty clear to see again in portions of the Turks and Caicos, just on that tailing edge, we've had some of that moisture coming in with our front. Now the winds and the clouds and the rain have all been thicker all the way up towards Bermuda. You can see that line. Well, guess what? This is going to clip the northern sides of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And if nothing else, give us a little bit more lift in the atmosphere to produce a slightly better chance for some rain early in the week. Places like Kingston and the rest of Jamaica, we're going to have a few shower chances here as we roll into our money. Those are some of the areas that I expect us to see a little bit higher rain chances. We're going to take a look at our wind vector product here. I actually wasn't going to show you this, so it's going to take me just a second to set it up uh, to what I like to do here, but I thought this might be a little bit important. Let me go into tomorrow afternoon and just kind of show you these winds. Now, I want you to notice that our winds in the Caribbean aren't really that strong early in the week. And we're gonna have more areas with the northerly breeze. Look, we could shave off a couple degrees of our temperatures in these areas, but for the ABC Islands and most of the Lesser Antilles, especially down in the Windward Islands, there's not a big reprieve from the heat. And the easterly breeze and that southeast wind is gonna really crank in some very hot weather through portions of Central America. That's what it looks like on Monday. If I take the model and we go all the way out until Friday, I just want you to notice the change that's gonna be coming up. And that is actually stronger north winds through the Western Atlantic, continuing to drive in some rain and moisture for the Bahamas through portions of Cuba and Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and Jamaica. And again, we've really yet to turn our winds more due east in the eastern side of the Caribbean. And we get a little bit more of a wind convergence in this area, Lesser Antilles rain chances might be going up as well. But notice how far south our north winds come. I remind you, it's getting into late March. You gotta have a pretty potent area of low pressure to try and drive north winds all the way down into places like Panama and Costa Rica. A highlight I'll be watching for later this week, and we'll talk about the specific impacts with the rain and the wind and the temperatures coming up as we roll through the week. Okay, let's get into our future track rain. Let's loop this up over the next five days. So again, we'll start with what's happening now and then we'll move out into time and I'm gonna take it island by island here. So first of all, again, we'll get into what's happening right now in the Turks and the Caicos. Look, we're kind of seeing the last gas of these showers and storms. They're breaking apart a little bit as we speak. Uh, the intensity has come down a bit, but Matthew Town to Cockburn Town, still the opportunity for some downpours to go along with some thunder. I was looking at the lightning data in this area and relatively impressive lightning, so pretty uh, energetic storms have been moving into that area. Now, as we get deeper into time into tomorrow afternoon, now we start to see this moisture get into uh, the Dominican Republic and from Santo Domingo uh, towards Punta Cana and even the northern coastal areas, the opportunity for some rain. For many of these areas, your best chance for rain is Monday. Tomorrow, trailing and fading rain chances throughout the week. So here you go. You can see for Santo Domingo, Got at least a 40 to 50% chance for showers tomorrow. Isolated showers on our Tuesday, relatively dry as we get into our Wednesday. And then we'll just kind of wait and see what happens a little bit later in the week. I think some moisture does try to return by late Friday, but Wednesday, Thursday look to be pretty dry. Now, this has been a scenario for the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico where your better rain chances have mainly come in the evening and overnight. So nighttime, showers have been developing. We will have a decent chance for more rain. 
tonight and then Monday night and maybe a few showers left over on Tuesday night. But for San Juan and Ponce and then my friends in St. Thomas, St. John and St. Croix and places like Tortola and the road town areas, your rain chances will be during dark hours. All right, mainly dry during the day. It's great to get outside and enjoy things and at least some passing showers in this area. Let me know in the comments section below if you've had some of this nighttime rain recently and if you catch some of these showers coming up over the next few days. Now, when you get south of there and even east, Anguilla and Antigua and Barbuda, I've got it just a slightly lower chance. You get as far south as Dominica and Martinique and St. Lucia and Barbados, and the rain chances are relatively paltry. Again, we don't generally have our strong easterly breezes kicking up, you know, with our trade winds, what we should typically see. Sometimes we can get a transition this time of the year, and we're just not going to have, the, the winds are gonna be somewhat slack, if you will, from time to time. I just don't see a, a strong general wind direction here. So typically when we catch those long fetch easterly winds, we can develop some of that rain off the east sides of the islands, dump it on the west sides of the islands. But you notice that later in the week here, and let me stop this because this is kind of interesting for late March. As I drop this in, we might actually have some showers drifting in from north and west. How about that? Again, we're still five days out on the model here, but it's a very interesting scenario for this time of the year. And some of those showers could go as far south as Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, heavier rain, obviously in the mainland there with that kind of scenario, kind of dragging that moisture off towards the south. ABC Islands. Don't expect a lot of rain for you guys over the next five days. Uh, obviously, the winds have been kicked up from time to time, and we'll see a couple of showers with the heat of the day here. Uh, temperatures, again, aren't horrible for this time of the year in most areas, but uh, running you know, in the upper 20s to right around 30 degrees Celsius each and every afternoon. Now, as I mentioned in Belize, the heat is going to be the big story. We've had a couple of showers here. Let me get back down towards Belize. Apologize for that. Uh, we get back down here, and you've had morning rain. And that will be the case along the coastline again. Now, obviously, morning rain doesn't help to cool things off in the afternoon, and it's slipping along coastal areas here in Future Track, and I mean really spotty, isn't going to help places like San Ignacio and Orange Walk. So these areas starting Tuesday afternoon will be well above 100 degrees in the afternoon. Extreme heat for inland Belize, maybe up to 103 in a couple of spots. I'll be monitoring that, but it's gonna be on the heftier side. Couple of scattered showers for Cancun, and our next storm system, guys, comes in again with another front that'll be moving across portions of Florida and into the Bahamas as we roll into Friday. Now, again, this looks to break apart a bit, but it could drag some rain and north winds deep into our area here as we roll into Friday and next weekend. What does the amount of rain look like over the next five days? Let's do that right now. I've got the model basically set up. I can live with 2 a.m. Eh, I'll drag it out a little bit longer. Let's see here. We'll take it out to, let's try about five. Yeah, we'll do about five. So you get the idea. This is uh, taking you out till Friday afternoon. Now, again, we've missed the heaviest rain north and east of the Bahamas and uh, the Turks and Caicos. Bermuda will have a lot more rain. Scattered rain, again, developing along coastal areas of Belize and Guatemala. This would be very interesting for portions of Honduras, San Pedro Sula and Roatan as we pile up the easterly winds. Once again, I don't have a large amount of rain in portions of Jamaica, but the opportunity is going to be there for a few showers. By the way, stick around I'm going to have the rain chance for all the islands here coming up as far as the three-day forecast in just one second. So stick around for that. There's that heavier downpour activity, portions of Santo Domingo and the Dominican Republic in general. There's Puerto Rico. Again, we can catch a half inch of rain over the next couple of evenings. Nothing that's going to cause any flooding, but some decent downpours. I'm sure many of you will enjoy that. Once again, the farther south that you go here in the Lesser Antilles, the lower rain chances we're going to see for anything significant. And again, more rain coming out of Florida. How does that break down the forecast later in the week ahead? Okay, so here you go. Rain chance in your area over the next three days. For the Bahamas, cloudy skies, kind of overcast conditions tomorrow could lead to some light showers. Nothing more than that. But fairly dry, just kind of cloudy and cool. Then we'll clear out sunnier skies. Quiet weather Tuesday, Wednesday. Belize, again, 
If you're going to get a shower for Belize City, it's in the morning. Inland section is dry. Temperatures will be in the triple digits starting on Tuesday. Jamaica, overall, you've got a 40% chance for showers tomorrow afternoon. 20% chance on Tuesday, then you get drier. And that's the trend in most of the areas. The Dominican Republic, a 50% chance for showers tomorrow, 30% chance Tuesday. Then we're drying out on Wednesday, kind of in between systems. Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, a 50% chance tomorrow. During the evening, same thing for Tuesday, still scattered showers. And then an isolated shower on Wednesday. And places like Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, I can't rule out a shower, but there's not a lot of rain. It's more about the heat and the humidity over the next three days in those areas. Friends, again, you can follow us through a lot of social media, and I appreciate all those follows, of course, here on YouTube, but also on our other platforms, Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. You want to send me your picture or video, it's mymediamundo at gmail.com. Again, we'd love to show one of those pictures or videos here on our YouTube channels. Thanks again so much for liking this video. If you have a question about the forecast, drop it in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe right now. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you soon, right here at Media Mundo.